Hey guys, Sorbalu here, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. In the last episode, we just got to the summit of the actual Mount Kern. No, oh, whatever it's called. And this episode, we are going to explore and get, hopefully get at least to start the second dungeon. So, first off, I'm just going to suck some of this up. And in case you don't know the spider things, they're called Tekatites, which I don't know how I forgot about that. You can actually suck these up here and review the Spike Beetle. Oh, two actually. Again, when they're in the shell form, you can't destroy because you can't destroy um, rock boulders yet. Also, I'm just doing this to get some more money. Um, one thing I actually forgot to didn't mention yet is that basically all your weapons, well, most of them anyway, the ones that do matter, are upgradable. But yeah, there's a tick tights and red uh, choo choo, chicka choos, chicka choos, choo choo, bet jellies. But basically, all your weapons are virtually upgradable. But they do require kidney stone fusion, so that's why. If you guys are wondering why kidney stone fusion is actually important, that's your reason. And we can't climb these rock this wall yet, so we are going to get our handy dandy bombs, which I need to get more of. Place the bomb there, and hopefully something will happen. Go. And you can see we got some a chest there. Let's go ahead and see what's in there. I believe that's a kin kidney stone. Kid I'm gonna call them kidney stones for some reason. They're called kin stones, actually. And nothing here. Oh, oh I missed a ruby. It's okay. So we got now the gray chick shoes, and they will turn to spikes when you hit them. This is part of the reasons why I say you want to get the boomerang if you can. Um, basically, you, just, you have to throw stuff at them or attack them when they're not a spike form. So the moment they really spike, you can attack them. My guess best my, my I would suggest using a spin attack or being able to throw something at them if you don't have the boomerang yet. And I do recommend if you can get the boomerang at this time. However, if you don't have enough money, that's okay. So you can't push that way. We gotta push this way. Oh, I guess not. I really don't like that placement of him. That'd probably be the best strategy to handle that, but you'll see them again later on. It's just that I think they're personally annoying. So go ahead and attack this guy here. We are going to hop on to this tornado, and again let Uslo be a parachute. That's kind of awkward. Anyway, let's get rid of these tech tights. They have red and blue varieties. Blue are much faster, and they also have the golden ones, which. Are better don't go down there yet we are going to go up here which is the mine just climb up there and we will get an important item soon we can't do any more climbing yet again those guys I've got the names we need the boomerang to attack them or another item and my last bomb good thing I got one more left that's actually the crap I actually need to get another bomb hopefully if I can get another one somewhere I need at least one left Go ahead and attack this Deku Shrub. Yes, got more bombs. That's I needed that. And you need at least 40 rubies for this. You got me. This fabulous grip ring is just perfect for your young Metzger. So this will allow us to climb the actual walls with the grip ring. So now we can scale walls. That is actually an important item for this area. And it will open up lots of shortcuts for us. So any walls like this, we can fall down. This should bring us back all the way to beginning the dungeon. But we can climb up this wall here. Now this is a secret that we can't do as of now, but in there will be a uh, Swift Master. We can do that after once we finish the dungeon. We can actually have access to that area. So in the meantime, we can just kind of dodge all these guys and climb up this way. No, not this way. We have to go back down actually. Hut still down. We are able to go down this way and actually climb, scale up to the mountain. So let's just keep climbing. It's funny how this is basically a belt that allows us to grip onto things. And we want to head. I like how Link goes faster going sideways. This way. And be careful of the boulders. They are no danger, based, but they will um, hurt you. We're going to come here and bomb this wall here because that's a bomb wall. And explode. I actually broke sign, but it's okay. And in here, the sign will say no throwing bombs into the lake. We're just going to throw one anyway. And we find our first great fairy. And they look so pretty. 
Welcome to the Adventure Springs. Did you throw a golden bomb into the spring or silver bomb? So if you say golden or silver, she will zap away all your bombs. So you want to tell the truth and say neither. Neither. You are honest. I must reward such an honest adventure with some powers. And you got yourself a big bomb bag. Now you can carry more bombs. And I'll make reveal up to 30 bombs. May you fare well, fare well in your quest. So that is a well needed um, item. And I do recommend you should get that because you will be using a lot of bombs in the next dungeon. And you don't know what you get. But here it just says... No throwing bombs, that's basically it. And saying you shouldn't throw bombs into the springs. So just care it's not that these bullets are not a big issue. They're pretty easy to dodge, especially since you move left and right faster. Excuse me. Oh, up. And they won't make you fall down like those spiders do in Ocarina of Time and those maps. But then again, just don't worry about it. We are at the top here, the summit. Oh, bugger alls. Um, we can't do much here, so what we want to do is just pull this mushroom and hopefully make it to the other side while crashing. Go! Oh, it's starting to rain. Now we're gonna shrink down here. And we can't cross these, so we have to. Oh, I grew back up. I try rolling when I'm small, and I usually am too close to the pedestal that I will shrink, grow. Careful right here, because obviously this makes sense. These raindrops are like boulders of water to us. Kid, watch out. If one of those is, I'll do more little damage. So just keep... I was just rolling. If you get hit, it's okay. It's not a big deal. They don't take that much away. However, we don't have to experience it in the rain here. Which is kind of odd. Grow back up. Now we got our first little big puzzle here. Push this boulder aside and we gotta push a boulder all the way over there. So just carefully be careful with this because you can mess up. I want to push it this way. There are many different solutions, but this is ideally the best way I would do it. Up. Uh, so, um, let's see. What I'll talk about. Say, it's, I'm going to try to do it as much as I can. I'm going to be recording at least quite a few episodes with this. So, I would, first I want I would do episode day, but because I did not have time to record every single day, I actually try to upload once a day at least. But my videos, they I think they're quite good for length. It's just because I usually do a section of the map at a time. And this is actually a pretty good walkthrough of it. There we go. And now we could go in down this hole. That wasn't so bad. I always felt like that was good. Now, I was just throwing a shield because these guys are going to be right here. Again, these aren't very e hard. To pay aren't too much to worry about. They're quite easy to kill. I forget what they're called just because... I'm bad with monsters names and you can see some stuff foreshadowing there I believe this is the one we pushed nope it's this one now this is a quite good puzzle here especially since I forget some of the paths you can push uh, I believe it's this yeah this is just a maze of hob knockers it's gonna be this actually and then I believe it's this how do I do this? Oh yeah, I think I'm supposed to go backtrack. It's just a bit confusing, and then I now I can actually get out. I mean, it's not that bad, because these usually are pushed one direction. There we go. I'm out. That wasn't so bad. We got more bad guys here again. A lot. Just keep walking, because you can't do much for that. Now, we are going to need our gust jar for this part. Because if you try doing oh I'll just suck that ruby up. If you try doing this, you see what happens. Pots block your way because you can't hop over them. And I stop falling. You just have to actually suck the pots up. And I hear a heart. I want the heart. Yeah, the heart's gonna be gone. Oh, it's just bombs. That's not a big deal. Alright, and we're gonna get some more red shoes here. Not so hard of a bad guy. Two hits to kill. We are gonna need bombs here, and they obviously give you some extra bombs in case you mess up. So, this is why I say the boomerang would be perfect for this moment, because, let me just explain. Boomerang can hit the, obviously hit that switch, but when you don't, this is what you have to do. You throw a bomb that way. Uh, the boomerang is a good item to use and have in general. 
but again, at this rate, you don't, you're not guaranteed not gonna have enough unless you actually spend your time money grinding. I believe, like, after I got my, um, about, I got right here, I'm gonna start, and, um, I was able to get the boomerang, so about this far, my first try. Now, this is another rock puzzle here. This one's a bit more simpler, and, again, these mistakes are not gonna kill you that badly. Honestly, it's kind of strange how you can't pick this rock up, but you can roll it and stuff. It's just, eh. I always thought these were just go Gorons here, basically, just the way the rocks look. They probably are, but you they're not. This puzzle is doable. It's quite simple, actually. There's nothing difficult about that. And they got another Kinstone piece. Again, greens are common, blues are a bit rarer, and reds are extremely rare. We're gonna shrink down, and we're gonna find ourselves in the Min Minish Village already. You can see right there. We're just gonna find some monsters here. More bulldozers. Simple spin attacks. You could probably kill them. I have no reason to fight these guys. I'm just gonna keep going ahead. That is like, don't get hit. We're gonna head down here, and welcome to Marlena's mi bi Mines. We got new Minish that are miners here, actually. We could probably talk to some of them, and they'd probably say, Ting, ting along, ting along, dig down, dig around, dig for the, the irons. These guys are basically just workers here. And I believe... Nothing in the houses. Sometimes you can find some interesting things in the house, and I actually need some parts, badly. Oh, see, that's kitchen there. This is a really small village right here. Very small. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, there's nothing important. We're just gonna head, you really want to just head down this way to talk to the boss right here. Green clothes and an odd hat, sir. Why are you be on you link? I am Mer Merlia, Master Smith. I know you want to reforge the sacred sword to and help break a curse. I'll be needing the old sword, which holds the power of the elements first. Show me the broken pickery blade. I love all this adventuring. What that and rescuing princess and such, I'll be happy to reforge this thing into a brand new sacred blade for you. So he's gonna place the broken sword, which happens to actually have two pieces to that. I'll take it'll take me a while to rework this sword. In the meantime, you should track down the missing element. One of them should be in the mines the humans dug. It's not far from here. And you can see. Alright, let's get started. Hit, 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 hit. That'll be for a while, Link. Let's leave it to them and find the element. So we can leave, or we can do other things, but actually that probably is. What? You're going to the mines? If you talk to the boss, I won't stop you, but be careful. So we are at Mount Colonel, at the summit of it. That means top, right? Summit. We find another one of these crests here. Let's go ahead and talk to it. Another portal. Again, this will all be explained in the next dungeon. But anyway, we are at the top right here. So I believe in the next episode, we shall continue forward and venture into the mines of the Great Deep. A bit short episode today, I'm sorry about that, but that's all the time for that section. Next section, we'll be, I'll be doing an entire dungeon in however minutes. Bye.